All right. Uh, welcome, everyone, uh, to a, another monthly uh, training uh, series on uh, KV Core. Uh, my name is Jason Yeager with EXP Realty here in the Branson, Missouri area. I'm the, also the team leader for our Great Branson Homes team. Uh, if you are new to uh, joining us here, either through YouTube or maybe our workplace, um, we do these uh, every first Tuesday. Uh, today we had to do it on a Wednesday because uh, July 4th holiday, but normally we will do these trainings every Tuesday um, and I do them live here in Branson. So we're gonna actually going to start trying to broadcast these live and if you can't make the live then we post them on our YouTube channel, which I will make sure to pop a link for that down in the chat for you guys so you have it. Let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Um, today, we're going to be covering the um, 360 home oh, application. Man. Holy moly, so sorry about that. I forgot I had the audio way up on that. <laughs> sorry, technical difficulties. Switch account. There we go. Here is the. All right, vacation rental in Branson. Oh my gosh. There. Sorry. Every time I go to my channel, it pops an automatic video up and it starts playing. So uh, sorry about that. I'll put this in the chat for you guys for the YouTube channel. If you're not already a subscriber, you're welcome to um, get subscribed so you don't miss any future content. I've got a few other videos that I'm moving over from my personal channel uh, from other past trainings that we've done that I'll be uploading on there as well. But this is where all of our future videos will live. And just wanna welcome everyone who is uh, joining us for the first time. Um, so let's just dive into the, the content here. I'm gonna share my screen uh, with you guys. And then I'll go here to, yeah. So again, we're talking about today about the 360 Home app. Um, for those of you who are already with eXp Realty, this is a brand new uh, tool that they have rolled out, I'd say late, early winter, late fall of 2022. Um, and so I will say that in the first, like with anything, when you first roll out something, it's going to come with its fair share of um, glitches, um, and some learning curves, um, you know, I had a, <clears throat> and they, uh, just to go back, they were also uh, developed by Inside Real Estate, who develops a lot of our uh, software and third-party tools that go with KV Core. All the add-ons that you see, the additional features are developed and managed um, by Inside Real Estate. Um, and so this is one of a very new, powerful tool that they've just added to our uh, list um, of things that um, are just kind of given to us as EXP agents. Uh, I believe that now it's you know, July 2023. Um, now there are quite a few other uh, individual brokerages that are there making this available to as well. So if you are watching this, and you're not part of EXP, um, you might ask your broker if this is something that they are considering adding. Uh, if you use KV Core, um, then it would probably be something that's coming down the pipe for you as well. So just check with your broker and see if that is gonna be available um, for you. But if you are with eXp Realty, this is included already with KV Core. It's already in the back end, and we're gonna go over kind of how to access it, what it does, and how this is going to benefit uh, you and, and your clients uh, moving forward. So really, uh, it's my um, always been my, uh, not belief, but um, I, I guess, you know, I, I, I'm a strong advocate for having tools and tech 
um, that is in your business that's going to give you uh, an edge, you know, and, and mostly to provide value to all of your uh, customers and your clients. Um, in this day and age, I mean, everybody has access to Zillow. Uh, and so when you have clients that are searching properties on Zillow, um, if they start warming up and getting really interested and they're going moving from the browsing stage to we want to start scheduling um, appointments to go look at houses, um, a lot of leads will get lost to any number of agents who are buying leads on Zillow, right? Um, they, they just, they don't maybe realize how it all kind of works. And so somebody that you um, may have in your system, but they're also using the Zillow platform, uh, Trulia, Realtor.com, same thing, you know, right? Um, they're all going to be uh, potentially lost to another agent out there who's paying a good amount of money to capture that lead the second that they start um, heating up and wanting to uh, get some specific questions answered about a property that they see online or to schedule a showing. They may think that they're contacting the listing agent themselves when in fact they're getting pooled out to, uh, you know, you know, if you have been in the business any number of times, you know how it works. You're going to get flooded. They're going to get flooded with a ton of uh, phone calls from every agent who's buying uh, an opportunity to speak to them in that zip code. And so um, what you want to be able to do with the 360 home app is to be able to get this out to everybody who's in currently in your database and then can create a system for yourself to be able to have that conversation with people as they're coming into your system, finding out if they are um, somebody who's just browsing or if they're actually somebody who's going to be buying or sell, uh, selling in the next, you know, 30, 60, uh, 90 days. Um, they can make great use of this app as well. So I want you to know it's not just for buyers. Um, this app does so much more than just have uh, access to the MLS, the search, looking at listings, just going to be the bulk of why people should want to use the app. But we'll talk about all a lot of the other benefits and features that it has later on. Um, but really, you want to be able to incorporate this into your business every everywhere, you know, uh, to be able to uh, let people know that you who do have an app that's personally branded to you, the agent. That's one of the biggest um, things is that they can have one place, one-stop shop to go to. If um, if they have any questions about real estate, you want them to see you as the trusted local uh, real estate advisor, you know, the, the, <clears throat> the economist of choice, right? Um, and so this app will allow you to be branded and, and put in front of them uh, during the initial search. And even after they've been under contract, then once they close on the house, it's continuing to provide value to them as a homeowner as well. So very, very powerful stuff. Um, this is kind of the, what you see here on my screen is um, just the kind of the landing page, if you will, the lead page that people will be guided to in your system whenever they want to download um, the app, right? So in KV Core, yeah, and you can use this QR code too here uh, to download it easily. So one of the things that I want you to understand is, is that, um, you know, it's, it's a consumer facing app. So if you're an agent, the way that you would want to um, use this, it, I mean, it really is you're going to give this to your, your consumer to be able to download. But then if you want to really learn how it works, you're going to have to become a, your own customer. You put a test lead into KB Core with your information. That's kind of what I, I did. You can't, you, what you don't want to do is just go to the app store, whether it's, you know, uh, Apple or Android, uh, 
and just download the app because then if you just if you do it like that then uh and you're and you just tell your customers and your clients to just go to the app store find the 360 home app and download it well then then you the agent aren't going to be featured on there they're going to be able to choose an agent uh and if they don't remember your name um you know they <clears throat> it's going to be very confusing for them what you want to do is give them your personal branded uh, link that is tied to you. So when they download the app, it automatically syncs you as the agent as their agent that they're going to be working with moving forward. So the way that you do that is uh, you can go over here to the, like your dashboard is right here on the main page. And hey, Luke, um, I'll let you get set up here so you can kind of see what it, we're just now diving into how to access the 360 home app uh, for your customers and consumers or clients. Um, on the main dashboard up at the top right, you'll see the drop down, you know, uh, of your name, and you've got your phone number, your email address, your website that you can quickly go to, and then you've also got your link right here for your mobile app is already branded to you right here. And it's just your, your um, website, you know, mine is Jason Yeager, first and last name .exp -realty com, And then it takes you to slash H-O-L-P slash app. You know, this is more than just an app. It's a platform that, you know, beforehand people in your system, when they would get listing alerts, right? Or a market report, or a home valuation report, um, they would be going back to your website. You know, now they're going to be going once they've downloaded the app. They'll they're they're already probably well. I should back up not not once they download the app, but even before they've downloaded the app. This is where they're they're starting to divert people over to. So the only real reason that your site lives and is has purpose is to capture the information, the initial information. And then once you're sending listing alerts to them or a market report and everything, then now they can go onto the 360 home platform and kind of solidify and grow and develop that relationship with their agent uh, even further. Um, so this is where you would basically text them or email them this link. You could stick this on social media, you know, uh, on your Facebook for any other new people that want to download your app. I mean, you, there's multiple ways that you can use, use this link. I would say if you I want to add your email, add this to your email signature so that every email that goes out um, over time, if they're opening these emails, then you could have a little hyperlink down there. It says, download my my 360 home app, you know, and it just lives on every email. Um, you could put it inside of a text template. In fact, KV Core already, this is the probably the quickest way that you're going to be able to get this out to everybody is they already have a template. So if you wanted to go into your um, contacts and you wanted to just send it to, you know, multiple people, then you could go here, find all the, the people in your database, right? And then you could, you probably want to send it to everybody who is um, active, you know, or, I mean, it's up to you how you want to filter your leads out to a certain group of people that you want to send this out to. It's not, I just want you to know, it's not just for buyers or um, sellers. Um, it's for, for both uh, and, and just for current homeowners. Um, they're going to see a lot of value in this. So um, just simply going through a mass deal, you could select everybody in your database, right? And then you could do a mass email if you wanted to and just, or a mass text, right? And then um, go through here. And then you, know, you see this canned response here. Um, you would, that that's where you click on there. And then you've got all these different templates in there. One of them is the, the app so you could just type in app for a keyword 
and then home ownership app invite. And you've also got, it's here, download the 360 home app today. So you just click on that and then boom, it's got a text message that's pre-populated, download my 360 home app here. And then it's got the link, get an estimate on your home value, direct access to the MLS and more. So if you've got a lead in your system who's been looking at properties for months, maybe a year, you know, and they're just, you know, really way, still way out there, but now they're starting to get heated up and you don't have a mailing address for them. You've not probably, maybe you've never even had a chance to get them on the phone to ha have a deeper conversation with them. If it's starting to become time where it, they're, needing to move it's a have to they're getting more serious you know and they want to find out if they're already a homeowner and they want to find out how much they can sell their home for but they're not ready to have a conversation with an agent yet they can download the app and they can put the one of the first things that it asks you when you sign up is to put their your address in for your house and then they can it'll send them a pretty uh, you know, a range. It's not going to be exact, but it's going to give them a range of what what they can expect. And then that information, if they're already in your system, gets put into your KV Core. They've populated their address in there. Now you can go in and do a more precise uh, CMA evaluation for them. Start having that conversation with them. So that's why I'm saying, like, just that right there is a great way to once you've gotten a phone number, an email, and now uh, they're the ones putting in their their home address, you know, that once you get all three of those, then now you've got a pretty solid lead that you can really start doing some powerful things with. You can start sending mailers to them, you know. Uh, and, and, and what I also want, I want you to know is that because it's within EXP, right, and EXP is not, you know, limited to just your MLS. Like if you're sending listings to them from KB Core, that's really all you can do, right? To send listings that are available in the MLS that you serve. But if they are wanting to get familiar with, let's say they're an out-of-state buyer, right? Well, they can search listings. They can get their market data will be for wherever they're at, you know? So it's very, very powerful. This is unlike, you know, I mean, there's be, that's why I'm saying like, you want it to be as good or better than the value that they're getting using the Zillow app, because that's exactly what they're being able to get when they're on Zillow too, is that, um, but then the downside to that, that you and I realize as agents is that they're getting pounded by all of these other agents and you potentially lose that lead to somebody else. So now they have a one place that they can go to, to get all of that information. So super powerful. Um, so I, I just want to pull up my deal here. Um, well, let me finish this out. So yeah, you could send this out through the text here. You could also do that as an email. Let me cancel this out. So you could do the mass email and the same thing, template. Um, just put the app keyword in there and 360 home app is already right there. And they've got this really nice templated um, email it's got your header already populated in there hi first name put their you know the consumer's first name already in there it's here our broker gsp realty is leading the charge with all the latest tech available when it comes to buying and selling real estate i have an app i wanted to share with you so this and then the little button right here takes them right to the place where they can download the app right and then it'll ask them to set up a password and then you as if you wanted to play around with this yourself you will need to set yourself up as a test lead, you know, put a, an email address in, in your phone number. It'll probably give you a little note saying, hey, this is the same phone number that you're registered as an agent. So your texting capability may be limited, but I've already done this myself and tested this out uh, myself to be able to download the app. So again, do not direct people to just go to the app store to download you want to make sure that they're using your link to download the app so that it makes sure it pairs you as their agent. Uh, and when I did this, then yes, I was paired with myself and then I was able to go in to the um, 360 home app and it was very easy to walk through and putting my address in. Um, you know, the first thing it does is 
capture that information. I did have to update my details because the initial home valuation was way wrong. And I realized that it only had the, I have a walkout basement home, which they probably pulled basic public yeah. record information. Um, and so it just had the main level square feet of like 1,512 square feet. So um, I had to go in and, and it only had the bedrooms that were on the main level. So I had to go in and just adjust. And then it pulled some comparables um, in there and, and it was much more um, accurate um, there. So um, I wish that I could have a way to sync my phone to the computer here to give you some live, you know, what, what I see on when I'm looking at the app. But um, as you're you know, doing this, if you want to have already maybe gone in, set yourself up as a test lead and sent yourself a text invite, you know, or whatever to download the app, then just click on that link when you text yourself. That's the easiest way that I did it. Um, and then it automatically took me to the app store. I downloaded it set up the password, then I was, I was right in. Um, you get a market report um, for your area. You can add your loan uh, mortgage details in there, kind of get a, um, an idea of what you, your payoff is once you sell. You know, you know, that's very powerful too for a lot of people. Um, uh, market trends is gonna be on there. So this is exactly what you would see when you send people the market report for the area that they're in, um, they can access it all the same information right there on the app. But looking at your home value and your potential equity that you have in your house is gonna be awesome. So then the next deal is the search button at the bottom. You have just those basic features for your house, but then you have all the search criteria that's in here. Um, and like I said, if you're, looking in multiple different areas that are outside of the MLS, um, that's going to be super handy <laughs> uh, for, for people. Um, I will say one thing I did notice on this is that if you are wanting to see all the houses in, uh, let's say, you know, for our area, Branson, right? Well, I want to see all the homes for sale in Branson. It'll give me homes for sale and coming soon, you know, if you wanted to on the filter. Um, coming soon and active. You also have a button for rent and sold. Uh, but I will say that the listings that they have, if you just put Branson, it's only going to show the city limits of Branson. Um, so if you go into the MLS and my MLS and I look for homes for sale in Branson, it's in the MLS, when you put Branson in, it puts everything that's in that zip code, whether it's inside the city limits or outside the city limits, but still has a Branson address. Does that make sense? So you want to probably search to get the true amount, then you would want to search maybe zip code, you know? And I know some places, if you're in a more metropolitan area, just like Springfield up here, has got several zip codes that are all Springfield, you know? Um, you just want to kind of look at that because that's definitely something that you'd want it to search the same way as your MLS to be able to include all the listings. But one other benefit that I wanted to share with you uh, that's huge is that um, if you are an agent in a non-disclosure state, like we are here in Missouri, um, you, you have the ability through this app so not only look at the actives, but also the solds, which that's really big. People that are in non-disclosure states, when they go on Zillow, they're not going to be able to ever see what that home actually sold for. They have to get that information through an agent, right? And having access to your app is going to allow them to see, oh, my neighbor's house, I thought, you know, was listed for, you know, 380. And I thought that's what it sold for, but actually it sold for 396. You know, very, very powerful. You know, the, oh, I'm going to sell my house myself because my neighbor's house sold for 380. You know, well, all they're doing is looking on Zillow and seeing what it was active for and that it went off market at 380. They didn't ever disclose publicly what the actual sales price is. So you as the agent could come in and be like, look, you know, your house actually, you know, comps actually sold for 16,000 over what you thought it sold for. You know, you're leaving money on the table if you're going to go out and put your house all on the market for 380 as well. You know, um, 
and also vice versa, you know, <laughs> maybe it closed for way less and they've got this overinflated value of their house because they don't realize that, you know, maybe the market has shifted, uh, which we are seeing a lot, you know, and so having access to the sold data is going to be um a tremendous, tremendous benefit for anybody who decides to, to use that. So explain, being able to explain these things to people, why they should download the app um, is, is going to be a benefit to you. So what I really encourage you if, you, if you have, you know, 30 minutes during a day to just go in, play around with the app a little bit and just pretend like you are a consumer and uh, use it, you know, and, and, and really see what all it's, it's capable of. The, um, you have saved search uh, features on there, but then they also have the ability to chat directly with you um, and you'll get a notification. Um, if they have a question about a property, then it immediately comes up as a notification through KV Core. You'll see it tracked in, in their um, activity on their profile. Um, some other deals on here in the, in the filter, they've got you know, all the, obviously the single family condos, multifamily land and commercial, same as, you know, on our website. Um, and then you've got the additional um, filters in here, uh, HOA, new construction, uh, views, pool, garage, waterfront. They can go through and kind of uh, niche that out if they, if they want to. And then they can just specify on there if it's a preference or if it's a requirement. Is it a like to have, <laughs> what I say, is this a like to have or is this a have to have? They can go through there and click on the deals that are have to haves for them and then really whittle that down. Um, so I was just looking at the, you know, you can draw the, you know, draw a specific area. What, you know, you can't really, I mean, the people who don't really have a set school district or, you know, whatever, will a lot of times be wanting to save a search that includes multiple cities, neighborhoods. Uh, uh, and so just kind of being able to be, you know, 30 minutes from my family, 30 minutes from work, you know, you can kind of draw an area around where most of those places are going to include multiple zip codes, multiple cities, multiple school districts. Um, so being able to search that way is also very handy. Um, then you can look at the suggested comparables, um, other like properties as well. Now, the next thing I wanted to share with you uh, on here is uh, the transaction. So when I was saying, you know, even just beyond getting people on there to use it for their initial search, once they're under contract, they can go through and put in their uh, escrow uh, date, their uh, you know their expected closing date, the address of the property that they're going to be closing on, uh, and it'll keep track of their transaction for them while they're under contract. You know, it's like having your own little personal transaction coordinator that's communicating with them uh, all, through the whole process. So super extra valuable there. Um, it says right here, I'm your key to a smooth transaction, Jason, you know, so it's pointing people back to uh, me, their agent, right? There's a lot going on. Keep your sanity intact with my transaction tracker. Get a bird's eye view of your timeline. So it kind of shows a really easy to digest um, way, uh, you know, the whole process. You've got um, the, the bird's eye overview of where they're at financing, due diligence period, title, and then a checklist of everything else, all, you know, different time periods and everything for you. Um, contingencies when they expire. I mean, just, <laughs> I was really impressed with how much they've included um, in this. And then when they're, um, the next tab over under the search feature is the move tab. Um, you've got activate the move. You can schedule your move date. You can um, get referrals. You can get, a, you have a calculator, a checklist, a moving checklist. You've got the calculator here to kind of be able to get pricing on packaging movers. I mean, this is 
the next other thing that people kind of get really bogged down with all of the uh, overwhelming parts. Like everybody hates moving and I get it, but having this app with them, that's directing them to use you as their trusted advisor is going to start already building that growing that value proposition for you as their trusted agent. Then they're going to be giving you referrals, <laughs> repeat uh, uh, opportunity to be able to remember you as their agent in seven, 10 years from now when they're ready to, to move again. Um, if they're still um, getting home valuation reports through the app from you. And uh, if they, I was just testing this out earlier too, was um, uh, they've got a way in there to ask, you know, for home maintenance, right? They've got, um, let me find that real quick. So under the first tab, under um, the little home icon, you can see that. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's like transition straight through it, so it's shown clear. You can't see your phone at all on the... Uh... Oh, that's right. I'm sharing the screen right now. Anyway, um, they've got your value and your equity under your home, then your market report for your, like your neighborhood or your city that you're wanting to keep updated on. But then you've also got this maintenance tab here that you can go to. And if you really are one of those kind of homeowners that really loves to make sure that your um, filters are cleaned and your gutters are cleaned out and um, that your you know, sidewalks are power washed and uh, all the things that come with making sure that you're keeping a very well and upkept home. It's got a whole checklist here for every season that they can go through and uh, check off all the things that are gonna need to be due and upcoming, right? But then also if they need recommendations for a painter, a contractor, whoever, um, they can go straight to you. So there's a little deal that says, Jason here, how can I help maintain your home value? You can get, ask for quotes from, from me, you know, ask a, just a simple question or ask for referrals. And then I, I did this when I wanted to get like a contractor, you know, uh, handyman uh, referral, you know, and I just sent the deal directly to myself and I instantly got the message and then I can start up a conversation with them to send them a list of my trusted service providers. So boom, another uh, great way to be able to um, add value to them. And then it gives you kind of an average annual maintenance cost per year. Um, and there's so much on here, add fertilizer to the lawn, central air maintenance, change the CO2 uh, smoke detector batteries, clean the aerators on your faucets, clean the dryer exhaust vent, get a plumbing inspection. This is just the summer checklist here. I mean, I was super impressed with that right there. So just play around um, with that and really uh, get to know that so that when people are asking you what what all does it do, you can explain it to them, <laughs> you know, because you, you've used it um, yourself. Um, but that, that would be what I would email it out to your current uh, database using you know this little um, template that's already been provided. They make it super easy. All you really would have to do is just figure out who you want to send it to. You do the mass email, send it out to them, and then send them a text, a follow-up text um, for anybody that maybe you only have a phone number and no email, you know, or just send them a text and say, hey, I just sent you um, a link for my search app. Um, and then, like I said, when you're meeting new people, right, new uh, buyer leads that are, that are coming into your system, sell leads, whatever, however type of lead that's coming in, you want to be able to have a system in place to be able to, when you get on the phone and let's say they're just browsing, let's say, hey, that's, that's great. You know, um, I totally um, respect that you're, you know, you're not ready to buy right now. I just wanted to kind of see what your situation was. I tell you what. In the meantime, between now and then, if um, you want, I will be happy to send you a link to my free home search app that you can use 
that, you know, that way you have one person instead of getting, you know, pounded by a bunch of agents uh, that you will normally get on searching on Zillow. Um, you happy to call me, text me, message me direct about anything that you see online. And it's got some other great um, tools in there to be able to see the sold listings, you know, um, in there around your neighborhood and uh, get a current market uh, update on the house that you're currently in, you know, and that might even strike up a conversation right there to kind of talk about where they live. And then you could set up a possible referral opportunity if it's outside of your MLS, you know, then um, using this as a something to talk about of value besides just, you know, me, me, me and myself, you know, or, or you know, trying to, I don't know, um, have these awkward conversations about with people about, you know, I don't know if you remember when you first signed up on my website and, you know, are you, I just wanted to see if you were thinking about making a move, you know, and then they say no. And you're like, oh, okay, well, uh, would it be all right if I call you, you know, in a couple of months or three months, like you're going to have to have some good value conversations around and something maybe to put into a later conversation with them as you're warming up with, with them, you know, have something to give them the following day. You could put it into your, um, I'm sure there's probably some of these buyer campaigns that already have this inv invitation, you know, template built into it as part of the, you know, uh, trying to get them to um, engage. You know, that's the whole point of it is to create some engagement and then provide uh, value. So I get, I'm going to leave this open now for questions. I want to check the uh, workplace also because I know we've um, got some people on there. See. We'll check the. So I've got the YouTube channel link there in the chat for those of you on the Zoom. And also, let me check. I didn't ever like actually log into Workplace to see. Okay. Good. One thing I've noticed though, as I get into these trainings, I just go and then I never like check the chat for <laughs> questions as we're going along. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, you can ask a question down in the comments below and I'll make sure to um, respond to those as well. Um, I hope that you guys found value. Luke, do you have any other questions about? No, I have had somebody ask me like, hey, can you send me a link through your app? And I had to figure out what my app was. So right. I don't know how they, you know, it was probably some campaign that mentioned it or something. Yeah. But that's how I originally yeah, figured out about the app a little bit. I know when they first rolled it out, I think they kind of started sending out a mass blast to anybody who are if you've already got people in your in your yeah. system you know it would automatically start inv inviting people and you can kind of see also i want to show you this to share screen again so here in kb core let me get out of this real quick yes uh, up here at the top chat conversations. So here's already, I mean, this is the initial chat that goes out to everybody. And if there was a new conversation that somebody had initiated through the app, that's where you will find those messages in the top right over there. But within each individual person's you know, profile, mm -hmm. um, you can go and see in their activity, you'll see anything is right here. So at the very top, they put in this red little chat deal, that's conversations through the app. Okay. And you can view the 
kind of comes up as a little chat box down here, like I am, you know, messenger or something through Facebook, right? Yeah. Um, you could message them through there. And then um, this is when I kind of did a little test for myself, you know, referral requested for a contractor, local handyman, you know, it came in, then you can just click on that and answer and give them a name and number for somebody or, hey, let me send you a whole link of all of our service providers, whatever, whatever you want to do. You can just do that straight through there. I mean, I was really impressed. I mean, there's going to be some different things. Like, like I said, um, as far as like seeing, seeing all the listings, that's something that I want to try in there. I want you to know that, you know, when you're seeing things that you want to be improved on there, the inside real estate group that does all of, uh, of the back end of this, you know, they want, our feedback, you know, because this is something that's that's going to be a, a growing thing, and I, and I believe that they're also working on an agent um, focused app as well um, for a 360 home, and really, um, so that's coming. I think towards the end of the year, but certainly just go into the little bottom right over there and leave any ask a question if you notice something that you know um isn't right um or you know just not sure um if there's something you have trouble logging in even or whatever um go tell let them know don't be afraid to just drop um you know feedback for them. that's that's how things get better you know <laughs> and, and having a company that is actually open and wanting to listen to our feedback i think is is something that we shouldn't take um for granted so i'm, I'm very um excited to see how this start you know we're in the beginning anything that first rolls out you know it takes probably six months to a year to really get uh, uh honed in and then where it's going to go from here um, is going to be uh, awesome for all of our businesses. So anyway, I guess that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, join us the first Tuesday of every month um, right here uh, on our YouTube channel. We'll be putting these videos up for you guys. And um, yeah, if you have a specific topic on KB Core that you want to learn more about and you haven't already covered it, make sure to uh, let me know. You can email me, jason at greatbransonhomes.com or just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to uh, set up a time to help answer any questions you might have. And we'll try to do a video topic on something that you want to learn more about from KV Core. Um, all right. I guess that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. I really appreciate you um, stopping in and learning with us and we will see you guys uh, august what is that next one first tuesday will be august 1st at 11 a.m central is when we do these uh live and that's about it have a great day you guys i'll see you next time bye